playing in the state of Georgia against Georgia, number one team in the country, Mercedes Benz Stadium? Um, honestly, no. You know, Coach Sweeney always talks about how it's an amazing opportunity, and that's how I see it is to be able to go back to Georgia, be able to have the opportunity to play the preseason number one team. Um, you know, it's just a great opportunity, and, you know, it's just a dream I've had since I was a little kid to just be able to perform on a stage like this. Personally, how big of an opportunity is it, you know, as a running back going against this defense that's been so good for so long, this defensive line? Uh, last time you met when you were a freshman in Charlotte, neither offense scored a touchdown. Um, do you feel like you can make a statement in this game? Oh uh, yeah, definitely hoping to. But you know, they had they have had a such a great defense these past couple years. So it's definitely a great opportunity for not only me but the team to um, see where our hard work has paid off. I'm um, in the off season, and also I didn't get to play um, my freshman year. So I, I'm just excited for the opportunity in general, honestly. Coach, when you mentioned that you've been uh, game ready since June, uh, I guess for you, how's that? I guess them keeping you healthy, balanced throughout the offseason kind of kind of is helping you now entering uh, week one. Um, you know, when it was time to go, you know, I would go, but they would definitely they did a great job in you know giving me my rest um, and recovery. But you know, still got to practice hard. I still make sure I keep that mindset every day off the practice field, on the practice field, just making sure I'm sharp taking mental reps when I'm not going, um, just things of that nature to still become a better player. Coach Spiller told me um, going into camp that he kind of likened your journey as a player to his own because he split carries with James Davis his first three years, and then he was the alpha as a senior. <laughs> Might have, uh, a lot of people think he should have won the Heisman that year, had a great season. Um, has he talked about that with you, That just that dynamic of being the alpha in the running back room? Uh, he just talked about, um, you know, it just starts with me, the leadership, and if I don't do it, others won't do it. So I got to set the tempo, you know, whenever we're in practice in the meeting room, you know, everyone's looking to me and what I'm doing. So I got to just make sure I'm doing the right things and staying focused. So that's just become part of my routine, just um, being a professional, trying to be a professional, trying to learn that. And I, I really feel like it's spread on to my segment and, you know, help them to learn how to be successful at this level. You know, with your impression of the running back room behind you guys, like Jay Higgins and Zippin' A, just how they've grown and just what have they sort of like information they soaked up for you? Um, they've grown a lot. You know, one thing I just try to instill every day is just hard work, you know, especially being running backs, just finishing our runs. Um, and making sure that we're doing game rep, you know, having a game rep mentality in practice so that it's easy to transfer to the game. So just things of that, things like that, and in the weight room, just pushing them to work harder um, and to, you know, go beyond where they think they can go. So I just try to instill belief in those guys, and they've been working hard, so hard this summer, and I just can't wait to see what they do this season. You're getting something like 36 carries in a game like you did against Notre Dame. Um, is it even like registered to you how much you're touching the ball? Do you feel tired at various points? Um, or what, what, how do you kind of handle those massive workloads? Um, uh, honestly, I handle it by just being get ready in practice. And honestly, in the game, I don't really think about how much times I'm getting the ball. I honestly, just think about winning, you know, whatever it takes to win. And, um, you know, that's just my main priority, helping the team out any way I can. And um, when the other guys get in there, the other running backs, you know, just helping them out, giving them anything they need in order to be successful. Phil, you have such a tough running style. How much does it excite you getting ready for a game like this that you know the physicality is really going to be amped up? Uh, I just want to see where, you know, what I'm able to do, you know. Um, I've been playing this game since third grade. You know, it's always been a fun game, and um, I'm just excited to compete. That's one of my favorite things to do, go out there and compete. You know, no matter who I'm facing, you know, I'm always giving my all, and that's just what I'm excited to do, go out there with my teammates, worked hard this whole summer, 
in the whole off season to not only get ready for this game but for the season. So I'm just excited for this season and to just leave it all out there as a competitor. Phil, obviously you run a bigger spotlight this season, running out there first. A lot of people are gonna, you know, see you maybe for the first time on Saturday as viewers. What do you hope the viewers take away from your performance on Saturday? What do you hope they learn about you? I just hope they see someone that's willing to lay it on the line for their teammates, someone that works hard, someone that plays with an intensity that, you know, is hard to match, and just someone who really cares about the game, cares about Clemson. Since last year, turnovers were a big problem, especially the catastrophic type of turnovers. A couple of those we saw on the mesh, on the RPOs. Do you feel like um, Dave's gotten to the point where he, his internal clock has improved, where he, he knows exactly how long he can or can't pull the ball out of the mesh? Um, I feel like as a quarterback, it takes development, and some something like that is so mundane. Coach Sweeney was literally just talking to us about it yesterday. You know, the little things can hurt you. It's not like giving up a big play or something, but like a ball snap, you know, a little thing like that. So uh, just making sure that we get the reps in and focus on and what we're doing. And I, I have no doubt that Cade knows what he's doing at quarterback. And, um, you know, just focusing on little things, not only him, but myself, and making sure that we take our practice reps to the game. How much did you be able to see uh, Will in the preseason with the Eagles, and, and how much are you guys still in touch? And is he going to kind of give you any advice about heading into this senior year? Um, I've talked to him definitely, but, you know, the advice he's given me is just to, you know, do me, do what I've always done, lead the, lead the guys out there, and, you know, just keep working hard, be who I am. And, um, you know, he's been doing great. I've been talking to him. He's loving it up there in Philly. And uh, I know he's got more success to come for sure. So I know you guys practice a lot of the Tigers traditions, but what are some tips that you can give guys as far as when they run down the hill for the first time in a couple weeks and things to remember, you know, that they need to focus on to try to not create a, a catastrophe? I'll say don't go down too fast, honestly, if it's your first time, especially M me and myself personally, I trot down just because I'm scared I might fall or pull my hamstring or something. But, you know, my advice to guys would be uh, if it's your first time going down, take it slow the first time. And then once you keep doing it, you'll get used to it for sure. And what does it feel like to be a part of such a unique tradition like that and the whole stadium is going wild during it? It's, it's amazing, honestly, you know, just growing up, I never would have thought I'd be able to be a part of something like this. And it's, it's really just special and something very dear to my heart. And I'm just blessed to be able to call myself a tiger, be able to go down that hill. You know, it's an opportunity that I'd never overlook. So. You'll have a lot of friends and family in the stands. Were you and Barrett kind of at each other's throats to get extra tickets? Oh, yeah, we were trying to get, definitely trying to get extra tickets. But, yeah, a lot of fam coming out, um, brothers and sisters. So I'm excited to definitely see them after the game. And I know they'll be supporting me, praying for me. I feel Coach brought up that since 2019, that was the last time that Clemson's had a home opener to start the season, so you've never had one. Do you wish you were starting at home, or do you like starting on the road in these tough environments? Um, honestly, this year, I mean, I think it's perfect the way it is um, to just be able to um, play game one in Atlanta. Just personally for me, me being from Atlanta, being able to play a great team like Georgia, who's had so much success, and see our capabilities, where our hard work will take us. You know, it's, you know, it feels like it's a playoff game. So that kind of mentality um, is what's needed. And, you know, that's what you want, honestly, as a player. You want to go to the Natty, you want to go to a playoff game. So to be able to start with a game like this, you know, it's, what everyone dreams of, honestly. Uh, Keith Adams Jr., he was, I know he finished his high school career at Utah, but he told us that he started, obviously, in Georgia. It would have been, you two would have been the top rushers in Georgia. You, did you remember him back in high oh, school? Oh, yeah, or? for sure. Um, I remember Keith, uh, especially coming to camp, uh, just talking to him and his dad. You know, he was a tough player. And just to see the way he's developed over the years, you know, maturing in from a high schooler to becoming a man, you know, it's just been awesome. That's one of my favorite things, honestly, about football, just to see the guys grow up 
and get older is it's um it's awesome honestly. So and I think Barrett Carter was telling us that what's different about him is that he literally wants to hurt the other person. Oh on yeah. Defense. Like how different is his mentality as a runner from the ones you've seen? Uh his mentality is just go, green light, go, and you know, he's gonna make you pay. A lot of guys are you're gonna see it this season, a lot of guys aren't gonna wanna tackle him. Uh, because of his intensity that he brings. So he's definitely a key to this offense and will help us out a lot. Looks like we have a question for Phil virtually. Please identify your name affiliation and ask away. Yeah, hey, Phil, this is Chip Towers from the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Uh, for those of us that, that just aren't quite as familiar with your recruitment, can you just go back a little bit? It, was, it, it didn't look like you had a ton of involvement with Georgia. Just uh, did they recruit you? And, Kind of how did that go, and, and is there a special incentive, obviously, getting a chance to play against them since you didn't get a chance to get in that last game? Um, yeah, um, being recruited, I did get recruited by Georgia early, but, you know, I was always waiting on Clemson just because it was a place I wanted to be. I knew I wanted to be, and that was actually my last offer from Clemson, so I committed, like, on the spot. I was the first commitment of our class, so I take pride in that. And, um, you know, it's, I just knew it was a place I wanted to be. The philosophy Coach Sweeney had with his coaching um, and just the type of man he is, the type of leader he is, I knew me and my family, that's something we wanted to be a part of. And, you know, it's one of the greatest decisions I've made in my life. So, uh, you know, I love this place. Can you kind of speak for all these Georgia guys on the roster? Um, I would say for them, uh, they definitely probably saw something in Clemson also. You know, it's a special place, something, a place like no other. And um, I just know that it's beyond football. You know, for personally for me, um, things like Paul Journey are one of another big reason I chose to come to Clemson because the development as a man is something I really found um, that I was really fond of. And my parents also you know, just developing holistically, uh, being able to graduate, being the foundation of a program, and just being able to um, get closer to God. Um, that's one of the biggest things I looked into before coming here. And I could tell you that from freshman year to now, I've definitely grown so much. And, um, you know, Clemson means so much to me because of that. Day or last night, coach said that you're going to be a captain uh, for this game. What does that mean to you? You know, it's it's an amazing opportunity, honestly, and um, something honestly like if I could tell my middle school self that I'd be a captain at this game right now, I would not believe myself. Like I I I, I would not believe myself, and to be able to have that responsibility, something I don't take lightly. Um, so you know, I'm just preparing myself, made sure making sure I'm prepared, um, especially this off season, I just working, making sure I can be a great representative for this team and a great leader for, you know, Clemson University and um, just everyone here. You, you sit here and you talk to us. You look very calm, very mild mannered. Did the personality change though on the football field? I mean, we watch you sometimes run the football. It can be violent at times. Do, you know, how would you describe your, your running style? Um, I would say I'm just trying to win, honestly. I'll do anything, run past you, run over you, anything to just win. And, um, you know, it's just I've been playing this game since third grade, so I guess, you know, the switch just f comes on whenever I get in between those lines. And uh, I just love to compete, honestly, just loving to compete, love to see my teammates win. And that's just some of the reasons I love the game. Have you gotten any feedback on the video game, like people DMing you and saying, like, hey, you're really good? Yeah. How often does that happen for, like, a starting running back? Thank you. Um, you know, it's crazy just being able to be the first generation for this game. You know, it's awesome, especially my brother talks to me about it a lot. He plays it, and he just tells me about, you know, some moves that I could probably incorporate into my game. But I think I think it's awesome and just being able to play with myself in the game, you know, it's it's something I've always dreamed of. So yeah. All right. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, Phil. Thank you. Yeah, thank y'all. Last one up is gonna be Peter Woods.